I like to track down my home expenses in Excel file or a table as shown here. But when it comes to knowing how much percentage or a pie individual item is taking out of my total expense, having a pie chart is definitely going to be a big help because here I can see the biggest pie or biggest percentage goes into home rent, which is 47% and the second biggest one is food, which is 20%. We are going to plot this chart in matplotlib today. As usual, I have launched a Jupyter Notebook by running Jupyter Notebook in my command prompt and I have imported matplotlib and I have these two Python list. The first one is the expense value and the second one is the category or the expense label. To plot a pie chart, you can simply call plt.py. In the arguments, you first supply your expense values and there is a keyword argument called labels where you supply the labels. When you run this, you get this nice, beautiful looking pie chart. Now, this looks like an oval or ellipse because although the data units for X and Y coordinates are same, in terms of pixels, they are different. So you have to use plt.axis to be equal. So let me do that here. And now you can see that it looks like a perfect circle. To get rid of these extra labels, what I will do is I will just call plt.show so that it doesn't print all this text. If you want to increase the size of your pie chart, you can use the radius argument. So if you look at uh, pyplot.py's documentation, we have this radius argument by default it is one if let's say i want the chart to be double the size that it has by default then i can do this i'll keep it at 1.5 okay now how do i see those percentages because this pie chart is useful but i don't know how much percentage of my total expenses is going into home rent there is an argument called auto PCT. So if you look at again these arguments, here is the argument that you want to use. The value you will supply will have percentage F percentage percentage. So this is a format string. Okay. And here you specify what kind of decimal format you want in percentage. Let's say I want two decimal points. I want two decimal points after uh, yeah, after dot. So when I do that, I get this. If you don't want any decimal and just the plain percentage, then you can do this. If you want one, you can do this. Okay, so now my chart looks a little, little better. It has one more argument called shadow. So if you have shadow enabled, you will badly notice it, but there is a little bit of shadow visible here. Now if you want uh, to take out these pies, then there is another argument called explore. So let's find that argument here in the list. Explore. Yeah, so this is the argument. So when you specify explore array, it is going to explore that specific pie by that specific amount. So the way it will work is in explode you will specify number of values here now number of values will be equal to number of pies that you have you have four and one five pies okay it starts with home rent so let's say if i specify all zeros then nothing is going to happen but let's say i want this food pie to come out so the food pie is here when i say 0 0.2 what was going to happen is it's going to come out by that much amount if you specify bigger value, it's gonna come out even more, okay? So you can do something like this. Now by default, the pie starts at this angle. 
and it will start with the first one which is home rent and it will go in counterclockwise direction if you want to start your pie at a different angle let's say i want to start my home rent at an angle of 45 degree then you can do that by specifying start angle argument so if i say start angle you can see that now my home rent started at 45 degree angle if you want your home rent to start at let's say 180 degree angle then you just say 180 and it will start that way this way you can kind of rotate your pie chart and the positions of different pies uh, that you have uh, you can further explore uh, the documentation for pi and try out these different properties i just wanted to show you quickly how you can uh, plot a basic pie chart okay now i'm supplying lists here you can use a pandas data frame or a numpy array okay most of the time your data will be in csv file or excel file so you can just import it into pandas data frame or numpy array and supply that into plot.py argument and it should work okay all right that's all i had for this tutorial i have provided a link of this jupyter notebook in the description below uh, you can download it play with it uh, try out different pie charts and let me know how it goes thank you for watching